Okay guys, before I go back to the game, um, I just want to say, if you remember there was a lot of trees around my house because I'm in the forest biome, um, and what I did was, because I wanted to clear out some of the trees so I could make my house bigger, what I ended up doing was using some flint and steel to get rid of the leaves by burning them because um, the leaves don't disintegrate on their own anymore, and on this side here on the left, it worked perfectly on this back side here it worked perfectly but on the right side well you tell me yeah I basically just burnt down an entire forest I thought it was gonna stop just about here and it's carried on going oh my jeebus let me just change my render distance Still going to the now we'll change my running distance back now so you look and just see a bit better. There's a giant tree there that's now all just wood that I wanted to use as the basis of my um tree house. Um oh. but it's burnt down and at least the fire is now stopped, but yeah. I basically just destroyed an entire forest. On the bright side at least now I've got a nice area that I can just flatten out and then use to build stuff on. That's a plus, but yeah. Um, I s I'm gonna actually check that video that I uploaded, the latest one. I've only got one comment on it so far, so I don't know if you lot want me to carry on on this world or not. If you don't want me to carry on on this one, I'm just gonna like build houses, my house here, and like my other stuff here. Otherwise, then I'll just um, what you call it? I just um go back to um, the, um thingy, my bobbin. I have two comments on it now. EP. Let's see what we have here. Oh, just one comment in my reply. Never mind. What's this comment? Let's see this comment. <laughs> I'll answer that later. <laughs> Anyway, I'm playing this on peaceful because I am building, so that's the only time I'll play on peaceful. Um, but I was gonna, I was gonna make um an extension to my house. That's why there's doors there. I was gonna bring this out a bit further, and I was going to make a um second floor. I'm gonna have like bring this down as there's gonna be a staircase there and like a storage area here. Then like a second floor, like a massive second floor. Um so I can have like the bedrooms and like my cinema room and stuff. But yeah, so I'm just gonna show you what I've done on the inside. I've added in like a little kitchen area. Um I've got my like my little chill out place with my Twitter uh, my uh, 32 inch TV, widescreen L C D, you know my sofa and everything all that good stuff like right here you know just chill out it's like a little area while I'm like making food or something uh, these chests are just here just so I could store my things so I could take out the little area I had there and then this is the um, light stone that's actually what it's called and when you destroy them it sounds like glass and they give you um, light stone dust and you use 9 pieces of light stone dust to make one of these blocks and it's basically they're basically like torches um, but they, I think they give off more light and I put them in the season like that so I can have some more light here because during the night the center area is pretty dark and then it also gives more light for the roof area as well and then if you come out here where you can really see them I've made some jack-o'-lanterns and made and added them to my little street lights as one of my subscribers suggest, uh, called them on my, I don't even know if the guy subscribed to me or not, but somebody commented on my um, previous um, tutorial on how to make a lantern and they put it as he called them um, an epic um, street light. So um, since there's now a lantern in the game, I'm gonna call this 
Damn street light lantern. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Street light lantern. <laughs> so yeah. Um if I said, uh, to make a um jack o' lantern you grab a pumpkin and this was all inventory edited because um there's there was an update for inventory editor so I could get my compasses, my um watch which actually made the stones, the new stones, the jack o' lanterns, all of that. What you want to do is you get a jack o' lantern, let me grab my watch my workbench. Jack o' lantern torch. Um come on workbench here. Just make it float in midair because I'm so cool. Put a jack o' lantern there and a torch underneath it. I mean, put a pumpkin there and a torch underneath, and you get a jack o' lantern. So, yeah, jack o' lantern for the win. Now, I'm just going to edit the jack o' lantern um, picture. But if I actually look at it, um, here you just see I've made a jack o' lantern, and that's jack o' lantern, and that's just pumpkins, but there's no difference because like, the, like, the eyes and the mouth ain't lit up. So I might um try I'm going to go and change that myself. I'll try and change that in the in the um, the Minecraft draw folder if I can find it and try and change it because now I've got even numbers and then I don't know what's what, which makes it kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna move this over here so I know that's the jack o' lantern and that's just a pumpkin. Because you can't actually yeah okay that's the only difference you can tell. But yeah, so yeah, by doing the, these jack o' lanterns, they're brighter than torches as well. And yeah, and the good thing about having um, this stone here as well is that you can put this in water and it won't go out. I'm not sure about the jack o' lanterns because I never haven't tried them. But another thing I'm just going to show you a lot quickly is fishing and how you fish. I showed you like what you do, but let me show you properly what you do. Just close me doors. You also grab your fishing rod, go somewhere there's water. I think if you make an infinity pool of water, this will also work with that, but I'm not too sure. Um, so yeah. What you want to do, you go out to some water, right click, and your hook will come out. You want to wait for that little bob to go down, and you right click again to catch your fish. So now we just play the waiting game. This is a good um, resource if you don't have um, like pork around you, or you don't have seeds, and they... Oh, I missed it. Right, let's try that again. I want fishy. I want fishy. There we go. See, you caught. A, I caught a fish. Now a wait. Where's my fish go? How come that fish didn't get caught? Let's try it again. Come on, fishy. Bite. Take the freaking bait. And the fish ain't actually mobs, so you can't um, make a um, aquarium with them, unfortunately, which would have been very fun, but yeah, you can't. Come on, fishy. I might just wait until day. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and then come back to it when it's daytime. Tip so, so we can try our luck again. Oh, what? why didn't I catch the fish? No, you freaking bastard. That's two fish you never let me catch. Oh, n oh, there they are. They were fell behind me. All that waiting for nothing. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so um, one a raw fish repairs one heart, a room restores one heart, and the uh, cooked fish um restores um two and a half hearts. And if I just cook my fish, I will show you the difference between a raw one and a cooked one. See, so there you go. Cooked one's got like a different coloured body, looks as if it has no skin. Um, and then a raw one looks like that. So put the cook through there. Oh yeah, and if anybody has any idea of how I can change these chests so they face inwards without having to put anything behind them, 
then let me know. I've already tried putting stuff in behind it and then taking off by changes back. I tried putting something behind it and then putting them on and then taking but as soon as I take it off they change back again. So um yeah if anybody has any tip for that then um, let me know. This one's fine because obviously it has all behind it. I really want that one to face inwards. Which would be fun. I'll just cut that one. Um and then have one egg but I don't have them one so I can't really do anything with it. Um, so yeah, this is my little kitchen area, literally for me to cook food, which would be fun, but yeah, anyway, so that's that for this episode, oh yeah, and these are like my speakers, my, sur my sort of surround sound, I've got like two speakers there by the TV, then two in the back corner here, and yeah, you can see, during the night that just like lights up this area here a bit more. But yeah, I might put more on the roof because like there's no way I'm putting torches. I might just put a couple more on the roof in the glass. Like, just like a little like one or two put in the roof. So now again. Because the jack o' lantern I, I feel I can do it with jack o' lanterns, I think. I think I put them like where the glass is. Let me see. But it's like the pumpkin. I'm gonna put one right here. Right here. You have to put um, something beneath them and stuff. Um, if I grab some, let me just grab some slow sand. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's called um bloodstone. That's lightstone and lightstone dust. And that's some um, blood uh, and that's slow sand. The one the sand of the faces on it. That makes you um, walk slower over it. Um, so yeah, those are the official names for them. I think I'm pretty sure. So yeah. And go to my roof. I just put the stairs to my roof as well. I have no stairs to get to my room. I'll probably do that for the second floor then. And I'll put a jack o' lantern right there in the ceiling. Actually, I won't put the jack o' lantern facing the TV. Make it look like if it's watching TV as well. And to um, determine which way the jack o' lantern looks, it depends on how you put it. So uh, it will look towards you. Um, so that's how you want to um, put it. I need to grab my sword and come and kill all that after. So yeah, tell me guys, tell me if you want me to carry on on this um, world or start completely from scratch. <laughs>